we are going to complete the table. Here you can see the multiplication expression is where it's written out in an expanded format. The exponential version is going to be where we write the base, and then the exponent represents how many times that occurred. And since there are one, two, three of them, it should have an exponent of three. For the numerical expression, we're going to actually multiply it out. One times one times one is one. Two times two is four. And four times two is eight. For this one, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. Please rewrite the exponential version of that expression and finish out the remaining rows and columns. Use the following expression to answer parts A through C. What are some similarities between these expressions and what are some differences? They both have a three and a two and the negative symbol. A difference is that the negative in this one is inside the parentheses whereas this one is outside the parentheses. We also see that the exponent here is on the outside, but on the inside for this one. Yu Yan says the product of negative 3 squared is a positive number. Is she correct? And explain your reasoning. When it's inside the parentheses and written to the square, we use that number twice. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So she is correct. A negative 3 times a negative 3 equals a positive 9. Yu Yan says that the product of this is positive. Is she correct? Here we have a negative, and 3 squared means 3 times 3 inside the parentheses. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and then the negative on the outside times 9 would give us negative 9. So this time, she is incorrect. We have to square the number first, and then multiply by a negative. A negative times a positive gives us a negative answer. For problems 2 through 5, evaluate the expression and complete the notes section. We just said this is negative 3 times negative 3, which equals 9. The notes section for these is going to be a little lengthy, so bear with me. When a negative number is inside the parentheses, and the exponent is outside, think of the negative base as factors and the exponent determines the number of factors. Then you can multiply those factors together and evaluate. Number three. This is going to look like a negative on the outside and 3 times 3 on the inside. This becomes a negative on the outside times the number 9, which is negative 9. Since the negative is on the outside, 
we must evaluate what is inside first and then take the opposite of the product. Here again, we're going to do 3 squared So again, 3 is the base of the expression. So we need to square the 3 and then find the opposite. This one looks tricky, so we're actually going to write the notes first, and then we're going to evaluate it. If we want negative 3 to be our base, then we would need to have the negative 3 in the parentheses. For example, like this. But since it's not in parentheses, 3 is the base. So this looks like 3 times 3 with that negative stuck on the end. So 3 is our base, so this here is being used 3 squared, and then that negative is used at the end, which is negative 9. For problems 6 through 15, evaluate the numerical expressions. With this one, negative 4 is our base, or our factor, and it is written out 3 times. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64, and negative times a negative makes a positive, and then if we multiply that by another negative, that would give us negative 64. In this next one, the 4 is the base. So 4 times 4 with that negative on the outside means we change our answer to the opposite. 4 times 4 is 16. The opposite of 16 is negative 16. In this one, the negative 4 is squared, and then it's all multiplied by 3. Negative 4 times negative 4 makes positive 16. 16 times 3. Well, 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 1 plus 1 more, that makes 48. For this one, this is 3 cubed. That would be 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 
and 9 times 3 is 27. If we have 4 and we go backwards 27, that leaves us in the negatives. So this is equal to negative 23. This one involves order of operations and some fractions. We need to multiply first before we add. Remember it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. So the multiplication and division piece comes before we add. So we're multiplying 16 times 3, which was 48. But it was a negative 3, so negative 48. There's an invisible 1 here. 1 times 8 is 8. And I've got 16 times 1 is 16. 1 times 4 is 4. Well, 8 fits into 48 6 times, so that's negative 6. And 4 fits into 16 4 times. Negative 6 plus 4 is 2. Again, here we need to do the multiplication pieces first. 4 times 1 third would be 4 thirds. Negative 8 times 9, that would give us negative 72 times negative 1 half. Well, Negative 72 times negative 1 would be positive 72. There's an invisible 1 down there. 1 times 2 would be 2. These do not have common denominators. We can change them into mixed numbers or improper fractions, or from improper fractions. 3 fits into 4 one time with one extra piece. 2 fits into 72 36 times. 36 plus 1 would make 37 and 1 third. Okay, and then we're checking our answers. 36 and 1, 37, oh, negative 6 and positive 4 should be a negative 2. Okay, so we do our exponent piece first before addition and subtraction. So 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now we can do the stuff that's in the parentheses. Negative 20 and negative 8 make negative 28 plus negative 2 and 1 fourth. Well, negative 28 and negative 2 would make negative 30. So this is negative 30 and a fourth. For this next one, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times first. Negative 3 times negative 3 would be positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 would be negative 27. 2 negatives combined together would put us further into the negatives. So this is negative, well 20 and 20 would make 40. 7 and 8 would make 15. So 55 over negative 4. A negative divided by a negative would make a positive 55 over 4. Negative divided by negative. We can change that to a mixed number. 4 fits into 55. Well, it would be more than 10 times. More than 12 times. 
13 of them. 13 times 4, that would be 12. 4 times 1 plus 1 more is 52. So to get from 52 to 55, we need 3 extra. Okay, I don't see any exponents in these two problems. So we start with multiplication and division. Inside our parentheses, we're going to start first. This can be rewritten as multiplication by flipping that fraction over. And then same thing here. One times three is three. One times two is two. Three times negative two is negative six. One times one is one. Now we can multiply them all out. Three times negative eight would be negative 24. Two times one is two. Negative 24 times negative 6 is positive 144. Two times one is two. And two fits into 144 72 times. This is just another way of writing 1 divided by 2 thirds, and here this is 1 divided by negative 1 half. I believe this is a typo. I think in your book it should be a 3 there. So let's solve this a different way. Well, we know 1 divided by 2 thirds came out to 3 over 2. Negative 8 still says negative 8, and we know that 3 divided by negative 1 half came out to negative 6 over 1. Negative 6 over 1 can be rewritten as just negative 6. Negative 8 times negative 6 would be positive, because a negative times a negative makes a positive, and it's positive 48. Forty-eight times three is again a hundred and forty-four. Two times an invisible one is two, and it fits in there seventy-two times. So even though it's written a different way, the answer should still come out to seventy-two. Sixteen asks us to some error analysis. Liam evaluated the following expression for the incorrect answer. Find Liam's error and write the statement describing his error. So the negative seven he wrote down. Negative four squared he said was negative sixteen, and then he has the negative five. Well, this right here should be negative four times negative 4. That should be positive 16. Excuse me. Okay, so from then, if I had positive 16 times negative 5, that should be a negative 80. And negative 7 plus negative 80 should be negative 87. Make sure your warm-up is complete and your workbook is filled in for lesson 24.